Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how you can use a couple different pieces of software to prepare your image for printing with the Ghost White Toner system. As you know, when you use it, you have to replace the black toner cartridge with the white toner cartridge. So we have to prepare uh, a CMYK image and then a white uh, layer image for print. Uh, so here uh, we're going to show you how to do that. Thank you for watching and the first one we're going to start with is Corel Draw X8. So a lot of people ask me why I don't use Corel Draw that much. It's because it's installed on my other computer, my old computer, so I don't use this computer as much, especially for when I'm doing my printing and such. So um, what you're going to do is select the object. Uh, let me go ahead and remove this filter real fast. Select the object and then you're going to go up here to Effects and then we're going to go to Transform. I'm sorry, not Transform, but Adjust and then Brightness, Contrast and Intensity which is right here. And then what we're gonna do is uh, take these um, little dials here and then move them over to the left, like as far as you can. When I move the contrast down, it becomes gray. When I move the intensity down, it becomes black. And just to make sure I've got the blackest of black, uh, I'm gonna move the brightness all the way down and not up because if you move it up, you can see it doesn't work, but all the way down that way it's as dark as it can be. And now I'm going to be happy with that. And now I'm ready to print my white underfilling layer. Um, so that's Corel Draw right there. Pretty easy. The next piece of software we have up here is Paint.net. This is a free piece of software that you can download off the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I've already got the little cat loaded on the screen. And that's fine if we're ready to print our cyan, yellow, magenta, and black layer. But because we're going to be removing the black toner cartridge and replacing it with a white toner cartridge, we need to have a layer for our white toner cartridge to print. And so we're going to make the entire object black. And to do that, we just need to go ahead and go up to the top menu up here and select Adjustments. And then from there, we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And then on the Lightness bar, we're going to move it all the way to the left. And there, our entire image is completely saturated and black. Next, we'll go ahead and start with GIMP. This is an, another free image editing software program that you can find off the internet. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the top menu here and go to Hue and Saturation, found in the Colors menu. And you can't see it because I don't know why I couldn't get my screen capturing software to capture it uh, when I recorded this one. Um, but it could, didn't show up, but all I'm doing is just moving uh, it to the left like I have been, you know, to make it darker. And it doesn't go all the way down like the other programs, so I have to keep going in the colors menu and then back to the hue and saturation, and then repeating the process until I get it dark enough to where I'm at a level that I'm happy enough with, um, to where I can then just take the normal little paint can tool, paint it black, and make it, uh, you know, make have my underfilling layer ready. So, see, this is about dark enough. So, just take it, choose black. There you go. Now we have our white underfilling layer ready to go. And finally, we've got Photoshop, which is probably the most used program out of them all. Uh, of course, you have to pay for Photoshop. Um, so, we've got the cat right here. I'm just going to go right here to um, <coughs> image and then adjustments, hue and saturation. Pull it over here for you so you can see. Turn the lightness all the way down, press OK, and there, you are good to go. Uh, and you're ready to print your white layer. Now, some people ask me, you know, what are you going to print, you know, when you're printing your cyan, yellow, magenta, and black layer, what are you printing? Are you printing RGB? Is this image in CMYK or RGB? Uh, I personally always print from CMYK, but uh, you can print from whatever you want. And another question you might be asking is, Josh, uh, what, why, don't, why aren't you printing from any of these programs? Because I don't print from these. I print from another program called Vinyl Master. A lot of you might be wondering why I'm using a vinyl cutting program for printing, uh, especially when it comes to the Ghost, but because of the special things that we have to do when it comes to creating a cyan, yellow, magenta, black, and white transfer with the Ghost White Toner system, Vinyl Master is perfect for it. Uh, what I can do is just take the image, here I have the same cat from the other images before, and I can select it, 
go up here to my contour cutting tool, which is this apple here, uh, and then create the contour cut. And what it's going to do is trace the image and create an outline around it. And uh, I just hit apply if I'm happy with it, and you can see it traced the entire thing, even got inside the little holes inside the bow. And what I'm going to do is just select my contour cut line then, and uh, as you can see I've got it selected. Start a new page, and then just paste it here, and then color it black. And there I've got my white underfilling layer. You're like, well, I mean, you can do that in the other program. Well, what's really cool about it is, is if I take it, and I draw that contour cut line, because we're running that transfer through twice, the registration's never going to be perfect. So what I can do right here is just shrink it just a tiny little bit uh, to hide that registration, or I can expand it to give it like kind of a, a white outline to cover up any registration errors. Uh, but it's a great tool for when you're working with the ghost. Be sure to check out some of my other videos for uh, a more detailed explanation on how this works and why Vinyl Master is just a great program for it. If you're interested in seeing me maybe apply something to a shirt or even print something out and apply it to a hard sur surface, check out some of the other videos that I've got here. Right now I've got a lot of ghost videos, but I'm going to be expanding way beyond that soon. So uh, be sure to subscribe or, you know, just check it out every once in a while uh, if you're interested in seeing some more things. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.